shoes. Oh my god, you... My name's Donovan Thurman. Join me and my dog Remy as we travel off the beaten path in my trusty old Subaru. Hi there, Donovan here with DonnyDisperse.com. Today we're talking about a pretty important subject. I've seen a lot of posts on Facebook and some of my free camping and dispersed camping groups about people who are worried about camp safety when they go out and boondock or disperse camp and um, you know as you probably know there's a quite a hectic of a pandemic going on right now and most campgrounds are closed so there's a whole lot of people looking into dispersed camping for the first time and understandably they're worried about safety especially people who are going out by themselves and it seems that the specific safety aspect that people are concerned about are are people and uh, people showing up and wanting to do nefarious things and uh, whatnot. I'm sorry if you can hear that popping. There is a rock quarry uh, probably less than a mile up the road from where I'm where I'm camped right now where people do some target shooting so that might be in the background. People people are worried about um, criminal activity I get or of uh, people coming in showing up at camp and stealing things and and or trying to straight up rob them and I suppose that that is an understandable um, concern if you're out in the middle of nowhere by yourself and uh, there's no one else around you then yeah you might be a little bit worried about um, something like that first point I'd like to make is that I, I've personally I've never had any issues with anybody while I'm dispersed camping um, honestly I've had more people problems whenever I've camped in a campground you're surrounded by more people and uh, therefore you know people go to a campground you get drunk people running through the campground at night or walking or stumbling and yelling and I've had more people problems in campgrounds where everybody's at I've never had anybody try and do something or pull something on me while I've been out by myself outside of a campground. So in my experience, dispersed camping is quite safe in that respect. But that being said, and the concern being a valid one, I do have some safety tips that I can give you that might make you feel a little bit more comfortable if you go out and try dispersed camping or boondocking on your own. So the first tip is kind of a, a staple tip and rule number one, no matter what kind of camping you're doing or hiking or backpacking, and that's tell somebody where you're going. Tell a family member, a friend, a coworker, say this is where I'm gonna be, this is when I'm getting back, and uh, if possible, even give them the coordinates when you get there, because sometimes you go out and you don't really know what kind of spot you're gonna get. So you get to your spot, and if you're lucky enough, you have cell service, you can text them, uh, the coordinates to the spot that you're staying at. That's usually what I do and if I like if I don't have service um, I at least try and let them know beforehand kind of the general area of where I'm going to be. So it may seem overkill and it's easy to forget to do those things because you're excited for your trip and you just take off but uh, that's a very important thing. So the second tip I have is to go deeper into the woods. Um, I know being kind of remote and isolated is kind of what stirs up people's concern of safety. However, I like to go deeper into and find deeper spots. Sometimes it's harder. If you're pulling a trailer, you might not be able to go down a lot of roads that are narrower and deeper into the woods. So, you know, you're gonna have to know that situation on your own. I guess the most important part of going deeper in the woods is that you're not visible from a main road. Even if it's not like a paved road, you know, the uh, the main thoroughfare of a, of a gravel forest road or something. People can cruise main forest roads looking for campsites to go rummage and things as well. So I like to try and go farther in, get away from the view of the main road so that it would take a little bit of exploring to come find where I'm at. So my next tip is to have safety in numbers. If you can, go with a friend or a family member, uh, take a 
girlfriend, boyfriend, somebody, and go with somebody. It's always fun to share a camping experience with other people too. Honestly, I do a lot of camping by myself and I prefer having somebody with me. It's a, It can get kind of boring when you're sitting here left to your own thoughts. So take somebody else with you, um, you know, safety in numbers, you pose a little bit more of a threat or a resistance to somebody who wants to do something bad. Thought I just heard a deer or something. So often when I hear this question asked, the topic of discussion usually ends up circulating around specific protection tools or devices. And uh, so I'm gonna talk about that a little bit. So let's, let's talk a little bit about uh, firearms because it's a kind of a hot topic and uh, it d deserves a little bit of delving into. Personally, I don't agree with the idea that you need to have a gun with you if you go out into the woods. Uh, a, a lot of people like to isolate themselves onto one side or the other of that kind of a choice and, uh, and I try not to. Um, you know, it, it seems like it seems like this question and with the with the question of safety and the topic of firearms when they get thrown into it, it turns into arguments of I I've never needed one, you don't need one, you're ridiculous if you have one or you're stupid if you don't. You know, it's it's kind of a silly silly discussion. The the way I look at it is if you're comfortable to use a firearm and know how to do it safely, then it's up to you. It's a personal choice. Um, personally, I tend to have one with me sometimes. And uh, yeah, I don't like feel unsafe without it. And I don't even know that I feel a particular extra level of safety when I do have it. But, you know, it's just a tool. It's like uh, having my fire extinguisher in the car. It's 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 there if I need it. So um, go with what you're comfortable with. Uh, I'm not here to try and make up your mind for you. Um, if you're not comfortable with it, fine. Uh, do something else if you're not comfortable with it. Honestly, if you don't feel comfortable around a firearm, I don't think you should let anybody talk you into doing it. Uh, because if you're scared of it, it's pro you probably pose more of a risk to yourself. Ooh, that's a cool breeze. Okay, so what are some alternatives if, you, if you're not comfortable with the firearm? Or, you know, even just a hat to have in addition to. You know, it's good to have uh, multiple layers of protection uh, so you can escalate um, your response accordingly, I suppose. So, um, bear spray seems kind of obvious it is kind of obvious uh just get some mace pepper spray bear spray keep it with you uh, keep it readily available it has a very valid place in your camp safety regimen i suppose you know sometimes it's better to just ward off something than to do a uh, inflict a lethal injury in fact probably more often especially in a typical camping situations and of course there's other things you could do to carry a bat or a, a baton or something something along those lines you know if you feel like it's necessary and you are concerned I would say definitely go for any of those kinds of physical protection the last tip I would say is to you could definitely always get a dog some dogs are definitely gonna be more protective than others but uh, I would like to think that most thieves or ne'er-do-wells would see a dog in a campsite and move along. This one, she'd, come here. she'd just as soon run up and say hi and see what they wanted than protect me or to, or attack them or anything. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's a kind of a visual deterrent at the least. So anyways, I hope some of those tips maybe help put your mind at ease or help you make some decisions as far as safety goes when it comes to dispersed camping. I know there's a lot of you new folks out there that have never done it before that are concerned. So if you're interested in some more dispersed camping tips, go ahead and check out some of my other videos and check out my website, DonnieDisperse.com. It's all about dispersed camping and there's tips and gear reviews and all kinds of things and, and my adventure travel videos as well. So go ahead and subscribe and click the bell if that's something that you're into and I will see you guys on the next video. If you like to follow along with the rest of our adventures, make sure to subscribe. And to make sure you don't miss out on any other videos, click the notification bell as well.